Morning guys, John here and Molly. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a rainy morning. It's quite wet We tried to get off to the station, but there's train failures today So we're going to be catching a bus. Our destination is going to be Sham Shui Po. See you guys there Still raining, but we must soldier on and get to breakfast. So we found our destination. It's San Heng Yu, situated in the middle of like a really busy market. They're famous for their beef and egg sandwiches. Let's go in. Hey guys, so here's the beef and egg toast. Let's try it. It's good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is fantastic. It looks so simple, but it's so flavorful. And it's only 21 Hong Kong dollars. Really cheap. Mm -hmm. toast here we've already put on the syrup and all that butter has just melted Ooh, I can feel it it feels a bit crunchy already all right let's try this I'm ready mm. I didn't think the French toast could have beaten what we had the other days I get surprised every single time this one here is awesome. It's really crunchy on the outside. Our third French toast in three days. Mm. That hint of egginess and that crispiness, so good. This is something else I could eat here every day. Every day. Alright guys, so we also ordered a side of beef brisket noodles. It's really hot, it smells amazing. The noodles kind of look like instant noodles. Can't wait to taste it. And there's a lot of beef brisket in here as well. Oh yeah. Good beefy flavor in that one. Let's try some of that beef brisket. Mm. Totally just melted in my mouth there. Nice beefy flavor. Mm. Oh yeah. Awesome breakfast. We really enjoyed that breakfast. We love how it's such a homely vibe to it. Just seems like all the locals come here. So right now we're at a place called Hop Yip Thai and they are well known for their Chi Chong Fun, which are rice noodles. So this place is just down the road from San Hai Yun. The freshly steamed rice noodles start off as long strands, but then are cut to order. Then comes a splash of soy sauce, sesame sauce, and sweet sauce. When you dine in, you are able to drizzle the sweet sauce and sprinkle the roasted sesame seeds to your liking. Then grab a skewer and dig in. Mm. That's actually really good. That flavor combination, it's so different and interesting, but it works. Wow. This is actually quite addictive. Alright, I'm excited to try this. Let's get some of that sauce. So there's some sweet soy sauce and sesame sauce here. Mmm. That's actually 
really delicious. Wow, that's so tasty. You can really taste that sesame flavor throughout and that sweet soy sauce. It's almost like a hoisin sauce. This is a great snack and you'll always find that there's heaps of people getting takeaway for this chong fun. It's really good. We also got a plate of siu mai or pork dim sims. They look really fresh and we also drizzle some soy sauce on it. Wow. That pork's got a different flavor. It's a bit peppery. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're just exploring the Prince Edward area of Hong Kong and we've just stumbled across a goldfish market. Check this out. goldfish stores there's a bird market I think we're just walking up to it now so we've just reached the bird market and it's pretty amazing any bird supply you can imagine they have here look at these cages how pretty do they look lucky for us the rain has stopped so we are en route to our next food destination going to have dim sum again a well-known place here is called one dim sum this is located in Prince Edward so we've just joined the queue at one dim sum just taking a seat outside and they've given us a menu where we can order our dishes so let's see what there is oh that looks good fried shrimp bean curd yep well. get it Fei Pei Guan. So good. They have their English name, the Chinese name, and a code to go with the menu. Easy. The first dish has come out. This is the chow siu cheng, which is barbecue pork in sheets of rice noodle with some sweet soy sauce. You can taste that barbecue pork in there. The rice noodle is really soft and with that soy sauce, it's really delicious. Each time we go to have dim sum, we always have to have the siu mai. Mm. There's like three or four prawn pieces in there. That's really good. Let's open up our little parcel here. So this is the lo mai gai, which is sticky rice with some chicken inside. Look at that. Ooh, piece of chicken. There's an egg yolk as well. Alright, let's have a bite. Mm. Lots of good flavour in there. <coughs> nice and sweet and salty in there. With that chicken, really good. Let's see what's next. I don't even have anywhere to eat. There's so much food on this table. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just finished up at one dim sum. It was 
Awesome. Ew. Yummy. It was actually pretty cheap as well. It only came up to 200 Hong Kong dollars, which is yeah. about $40 for both of us. Anyway guys, we're probably going to be doing a bit of exploring, just having a food break before we continue. So see you guys soon. So we're in a place called Queen Sophie's and they have a whole bunch of tarts here including the egg tart, the dan tart. Apparently it's got over 300 layers of pastry here. Let's see how it is. Oh yeah. That's so light. So buttery. Oh my goodness, it's a very light pastry. Special deal is buy five tarts, get one free. So all together, it was only 75 Hong Kong dollars. We got coffee, durian, sweet potato, matcha, black sesame, and the original cheese tart. I know not everyone is a big fan of durian, but we love it. These are different to the cheese tarts we've had before in Japan because the base is actually a pastry base, not the biscuit base. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh my god, it's so good. Durian hits you straight away. Oh my god, it's so creamy. Wow, I, oh, I should have got more of these ones. So good. All right, let's give it a good sniff. It smells so good, right? Oh, yep, that's durian. That's the funky smell that I love. I want to wipe this on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. That durian smell and that cheesiness. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so tempted just to eat all of them right here, right now, but I think we shouldn't. So we're just gonna pack this up and we're gonna head off. and we are going to try another famous egg waffle joint it's called North Point Egg Waffle got my waffle they only have one flavor the original egg waffle but she just handed it to us and it's still piping hot it looks really good and crispy though I can eat one of these every day look how perfect those little bubbles are That crunch, always so good. This one is not as chewy as Mammy Pancake, which we've had before, and it's a lot more area. At North Point, the egg waffles are a lot cheaper as well. It was only 23 Hong Kong dollars for one, which is about four Australian dollars. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish off my snack and we'll see you guys soon. waiting in line for Kai Kai Dessert Cafe. Kai Kai is famous for their selection of Hong Kong or Cantonese style desserts. They've actually been in the Michelin Food Guide for three consecutive years so they are quite busy right now. Just seated down at Kai Kai Dessert in Jordan and as you can see behind me the restaurant is packed as. It's really loud in here so sorry if you can't hear me. black sesame soup and I've added extra rice balls and you have a choice to have it hot or cold so I've chosen to have it hot it looks so black though oh my gosh oh but is our teeth black ew black sesame flavor is really strong 
but I think the sweetness balances it out. I'm gonna try it with the rice ball. Rice ball has black sesame in it as well. If you really love black sesame, this is the dessert for you. Mmm. It's quite thick. Definitely taste that black sesame there. If it's your first time having this dessert, I'll probably share this. It is a little bit rich. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you have it on your lip. This dessert is black sesame overload. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the ginger soup. It's got a bunch of rice balls as well, which should be filled with sesame. First off, I want to try the soup. It's hot. Ooh. That is strong ginger flavor. If you're sick, you gotta get this. It'll cure your cold for sure. Alright guys, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let us know what you thought about it by leaving a comment below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.